teenager and you would wake up with those bad hair days? Just like us, king penguin adolescents also have the same problem. Before they get to looking slick and dressed to impress, adolescent king penguins have to go through puberty. And boy, is it uncomfortable. They're covered in big fluffy brown feathers, so when they come out of the water, they look like they were dragged through a puddle. Kind of cute. But this stage of their lives is crucial. Their feathers help them become waterproof and stay warm as their layers of blubber grow underneath. So until their adult black and white coats grow out, they look like slouched, annoyed teenagers. If you thought that was embarrassing, there are many more animals in line for the king penguin's awkward puberty throne. We're taking a look at some of the animal kingdom's biggest teenage-like tantrums. Get ready for more bad hairdos and growth spurts one leg at a time. It's not just physical changes that are apparent when we go through puberty. There are also behavioral changes. Human teenagers are known for being moody and emo. In the animal kingdom, the gorilla might be the moodiest of them all. Teenage gorillas go through the same problems that affect us at the same age. Females start their hormonal shift and menstrual cycle at this time. And once they reach adulthood, they will leave the family group and look for a partner. Some females are even picky about who they choose, trying several different males before settling down with their mate. Go girl. Males become more aggressive and will pick fights with each other to show their dominance, acting big and tough to prove themselves in their social groups. Ah, sounds like the movie Mean Girls. Now I bet you didn't think chickens would be on this list, did you? Unintentionally standing out from the crowd, they have the same problem as the penguins, with shabby looking feathers. Try as they might to blend in with the adults, they just don't cut it. Also, the males start getting feisty and sometimes have brutal fights. While the females will start laying eggs, they won't be as high quality until they reach adulthood. It's just not easy for these creatures, is it? Sticking with birds, the magnificent birds of paradise are stunners. But you might notice in some of the species a big difference between the males and females. The plain birds are females, and the extravagant ones are the males. In some species, they look like absolute divas. I love it. This is known as sexual dimorphism, and it comes about from males competing to be the most attractive to the females. This means ornate plumage, loud mating calls, and well-choreographed dances. And last on the list, with probably the most drastic physical change, are frogs. It's no secret they start off as eggs that develop into tadpoles, but have you ever seen the in-between stage of a tadpole transforming into a frog? They're literally half tadpole, half frog, and it looks kinda weird. The change comes about from the production of a hormone in the thyroid gland. The back legs grow out first, with the tadpole tail stuck between them. It's also the time when the internal organs develop so the maturing frog can live both in and out of the water. While these animals might have to go through some uncomfortable stages during puberty, there are others that are literally dying to mate once they're all grown up. We have the reasons why in another episode. They go through puberty with all the same social and physical baggage as we do. And that's what makes these brooding animals crazy creatures. <laughs>